Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Stock Career and Kerbal Space Program 1.8. In the previous stream, I decided to launch two missions to Jewel, one of them crewed, and we are looking to bring a Drez mission back. So, well, let's take a look at Mission Control to see what kind of contracts we have. Okay, um, surface outpost on Gilly, you know, is not a bad thing. Have an ISRU resource conversion unit on the outpost. That does promise. Let me pick that up. Mm, recover Ceremony and Ceremony's craft from orbit of Duna. Um, well, eventually. And again, I want more pilots, so sure. And maybe that should be part of a plan to flag on Duna mission. That gets us to seven. Maybe I should upgrade the building. There's no reason why we should limit ourselves to seven anymore. Just upgrade that. Anything else that we don't have upgraded? Um, well, I guess this allows custom action groups, but I'm, I'm not there yet as far as using those. Base plane hangar is fine too. I could upgrade this so that we don't have the 12 Kerbal limit, but it hardly matters because we already have 19 Kerbals. <laughs> so. So Kerbin has to be 30 degrees ahead of Drez for us to bring the Drez mission back. Contract, explore three sites on the ground. You see in map uh, view they are at the KSC but you can't find them. Oh, I haven't got enough experience with those contracts. Uh, well that's got to take too much. Let's not do that. That's pretty much in line though. Okay, I think this is gonna take too much to get back home. I didn't realize it took this much to get back to Kerbin. Yep, uh, well, we're not at a transfer window to Duna, though. How if we just exit Drez's system and then try and bring it down? I mean, that's not supposed to be any better, but... Oh, that seems better. But we're not really hitting um, Kerbin at all because of the inclination. What did the infamous Delta V map say it would take to get back from from Drez anyway? I think it's saying that it actually takes 1,910, but it's not clear to me. We probably should not have had the mod propellant. Okay, I don't know, I think we're gonna strand hangle around here for now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, maybe we can plot it for like the next time, instead of this time. That actually does seem better. Well, no, until we get to there. It'll be great for Duna. <laughs> uh, let, let's not hold shift or anything. I'm probably gonna... We need to send a rescue mission. But I'd rather send a rescue mission to Duna than to... Drez. I mean, this, those markers seem awful close though. But... Can I finagle that to some actual encounter? Well, I mean... This probably isn't even supposed to be a Duna transfer window, so this is pretty good. Okay, there's an encounter. But if we want to make orbit, we're going to actually need to dip into its atmosphere, not just encounter it. Um, let's go to Duna. We're probably going to need to land directly and then save Hangle from the ground. So Hangle will do the plant a flag on Duna contract. And then we'll leave Hangle on the ground. I guess. Maybe. Hmm. Would this parachute be enough on Duna? We're probably gonna smack into the ground if we try and bring him to Duna. Because, I mean, either that or maybe it's okay to keep the pod and then land on the bottom of this in orbit. Well, we'll have to hope that we can actually make orbit. It's a little bit hard because we're coming in at a weird... It's not a normal... Current to Duna transfer, we're gonna be coming in pretty fast. So it's tough to say what 
altitude we need to be at. So that's in the atmosphere there. And just to give you an idea, if we tried to capture into orbit, how much would it take? 1,200. Okay. So, I want I don't know, vote. Should we rescue... Should we just leave Hangul in orbit of Drez and rescue him here? Or should we bring him to Duna and rescue him there? So, I'm gonna blame you guys for this. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Where to rescue Hangul? from. Well, now either uh, Hangul is going to capture into orbit around Duna, land on Duna, smack into Duna and die, or be stranded in space. It's all thanks to you a lot. <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll take it. Crash course it is. Um, so we'll pay attention to this. We're going this way. Uh, when we get here, and we better pay attention. Okay, so dual scanner. Has communication. 75%. Um, but negligible reaction wheel power, geez. I don't think this is going quite as I initially planned. Oh, wait, maybe we've got that Tylo encounter. You know, you could probably fix that when we get there. Well, that's, that's in line and everything. We can probably do a correction when we get there to see if we can hit Tylo. Um, I don't know what altitude to pull him in at. <laughs> He's going really fast already. I can't quick save and quick load either. Oh well. Guess we'll just find out. Um, let's try 12 kilometers, I suppose. Can they parachute? <laughs> Can Ike help? Not the way we're coming in. Because we're coming in north-south and Ike is this way. What is that? Oh, that's where... Uh, we have to rescue that Kerbal. Ike's going this way. So really we can't... I mean... I, let me check, I guess. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny possibility, I suppose. But Ike usually doesn't help. Ike usually just trolls. So here's another question. Can the tank bear the heat? Can I just keep the service module on? In those slider dialog boxes? You mean these? Oh, well, I don't have a maneuver right now. I tried typing a number before. Maybe in 1.8.1 they made it happen? I don't know. I had tried. Pound by the pin. Shift three? Oh no, that's not good. Uh, what do you mean pound side by the pin? Oh, this, this, this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, blind sometimes. Well, the thing is, what if we actually don't... Um... What if we actually don't capture at all, Barafel? Then we might want to use the 200 meters per second in here to finish capturing. Or if we do capture, we want to get our orbit higher, right? Because otherwise one side of our orbit is still in the atmosphere. If we actually succeed, you know, we actually want some Delta V. I mean, I guess we could have Hangul pop out and use his jetpack, but, you know, that's not nice. I, well, I was asking, are we sure that the Kerbal can pair us 
Parasail in Duna's Thin Atmosphere. Well, there's heat. There's overheating. Of one engine. <laughs> Let me roll a bit. Uh. Oh. Oh, no! Don't go nose first. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God! Oh. Okay. Doop, doop. Yeah, that. I think we're coming down. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, first of all, we have to have the Kerbal survive, Mitko. We were planning a rescue mission anyway. But can the Kerbal survive is the question. It was gonna have to be a rescue mission because he didn't have enough Delta V. But... We were trying to actually fulfill the plan to flag on Duna contract with him. Uh... Well, it says the parachute's alright, but is it gonna be enough? Okay, let's try the parachute for now. Hangle cr Don't say Hangle Crater, that makes it sound like you made a crater. That seems a bit hard. So, like, if I have a Kerbal... Oh, uh, you've got a time delay, I guess. If I EVA the Kerbal and then deploy the Parasail... Will... Can, can I have the Kerbal still hang on to the pod? This is a pretty close call as far as the... I, I think I probably ditched the heat shield, but I wanted to... Oh well, fine. It's gonna hit us in the ass though, maybe. I don't know, it actually dropped. That's amazing. 10 meters per second. I was hoping it would like be like a crush zone for the capsule, but... Okay. I swear if it kills the Kerbal, I'm gonna be not happy. I slowed down. I think I should... I feel like I should have the Kerbal hanging off of this. And if we could deploy the Parasail, that could help, but... I don't know if that's safe or not. I don't know if the Parasail on its own would be able to... keep the Kerbal safe. Sure. And not interested in... testing that. When we've got 10 meters per second here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. SAS. Ah. Alright. Well, he's here. There's a rock there. Hello, Dalarut. Welcome. Our Drez Kerbal could not make it home to er, uh, Kerbin. I was going to say Earth. And so has landed on Duna, which is fine because we have a plan to flag on Duna contract. Now he's stranded. Yeah, we we were gonna have to rescue him anyway because he wasn't. Uh, we didn't have enough Delta V to get back directly from Dres to Kerbin. Apparently, I didn't realize it took that much. It seems to take more than it takes to get back from Jewel, for heaven's sakes. Okay, so. Angle on Duna somewhere. Uh, made it. It's true. He's not a colonist. Colonists can't step outside. That's the whole reason why. Well, okay, no colonists. I was mixing up with tourists. Colonist, maybe. Okay, we'll think about that. No time to lay on PC is good. See, PC is good. Oh god, they don't, they can't really go very high on jetpack. Luru rock. Up, 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 up.
pretty sure I need a rover to examine this rock, unless it's, uh, this can't be a random thing, right? It's too big. Well, we gotta try and walk through it. Oh, it is random scatter. Gosh darn it. No fun. The other random scatters look so much smaller, though. Alright. Angle will have to be rescued. 14 years on a mission. 14 years. Wow. Well, we're, we don't have um, food, water, and oxygen, so we don't have to worry about that. I would love to plant potatoes if I could. Uh, that's a little bit too tight on the jewel side. Oh, a bonus leaf encounter. Is that safe on jewel? What's the jewel atmosphere like these days? 200 kilometers. Seems a little bit low, but okay. So that'll be safe there and we'll get a leaf encounter out of it. Sounds good to me. So we'll fly by Tylo. We should do science. I should have action group my science. <laughs> okay, all the science is tucked behind here. Log pressure data. We have communication. Alright, transmit. Transmit. The gravioli. We should have done gravioli in, spa uh, in uh, Kerbal space. Forgot about that. And this is useless right now. Okay, so, but it just entered, and it's gonna take 70 days to get down there. The muon will be entering here by then, so let me just make a little maneuver here for now. To warn us before we get there. Okay, so that'll get us into orbit automatically. And we don't have to do anything, but we do want to pay attention to it after we deal with the other mission. So let's get that maneuver there. Probe will be first. I think we'll have to pay attention to our... Well, no, maybe... But I can't see that encounter right now. Maybe... Well, I can probably set it as a target and see. Um, 10 days and it's periapsis. Yeah, we'll have to pay attention. It's gonna be complicated. This is probably not low over Jewel yet. Probably have to be within Lathe orbit. I feel like we should... Well, yeah, let's do the Mystery Goo around Jewel. The specific planets we can do separately. I mean, yeah, I guess we might as well transmit, too. Okay. Tylo encounter. Tylo science. Will we actually get low over Tylo, though? After all, we're using Tylo to capture, so we can't really tweak that so we get low over Tylo. So, we'll have to see. Ah, I'll just do the other goo here. Mm, 376 doesn't seem low over Tylo. Let's find out. But, will we have communication when we're there? I don't think so. Well, we'll have to try it. Like, right here, right now. Still high over. Okay, momentary lapse in communication time. Okay. Then with that, we should be captured into orbit of Jewel. Or are we? Uh, okay, so... Um, Right now, there's a stable orbit. Well, I mean, there's the Leif thing, but the Leif thing doesn't seem to perturb us much because we're pretty high over Leif. Um, so yeah, this, this will remain in a stable orbit, and we don't have to worry about it. We want to pay attention to it before it reaches Leif. Well, really, before it gets to periapsis, so we'll pay attention to it there. 
Okay, it's not gonna do anything else important. Let's go to the other mission. Where we are going to encounter Lathe in order to capture, as opposed to uh, using Tylo. Unfortunately, this does not have a line back. He didn't carry an uh, antenna? I guess not. After all, we do expect to bring the Kerbal back. It's true. And we need a pretty big antenna. Is this low over Jewel? Nope. But we can still do the EVA. Um, let's have the scientists do it. And we should have done a crew report too. Let's have the scientists grab that and come back in so we can do more. Hmm. We've already got a high. Well, we could recover this high over Jewel, so. Okay. Lola, once again. Once again. So many EVAs for Lola. Okay. Don't don't fly off too much. Okay. Collect data. Okay, leaf time. Oh, we certainly have not gotten this this leaf science. Obviously, no seismic data. Okay, crew report. Lola. EV report. Take all the datas. Okay, where's Lathe? There's Lathe. I don't think we're gonna get low over Lathe, but we'll check. This will be in a stable orbit, and so we can just pay attention to the Jewel probe. It's in a really high orbit, though. 40 days at the uh, to the top here. Hmm. But. Yeah, we'll pay attention to it. Maybe we should bring it there. Well, let's not use extra delta V. Let's just pay attention to it there. Oh, look, there's a Tylo encounter for him. In 79 days. Okay. Let's pay attention to the probe again. Would it count? Well, yeah, yeah. Any data that you put into the science lab will count. But it's probably going too far to... I mean, we should... if we want to do that, we should have a science lab around here instead. Probably. The benefit of the science lab is being able to get good value on the science from a distance without bringing it all the way back all the time. We could have corrected and got ourselves closer to Lathe, but that might... that, that actually might have been a good idea. Okay, so... That... Don't know why we have the seismometer on here since I don't intend to land it, but whatever. But I have to decide where we're gonna actually put this into orbit so that I can do its scanning business. I mean, Tylo would be an important place to scan for resources since it's really hard to launch from Tylo without mining to get some fuel. Always make sure that your periapsis around Jewel is safe. That is not... Well, but that's after Tylo, isn't it? We'd still have 2,300 beyond that. Lines. <laughs> All sorts of lines going on. Is there any evidence that Jewel might actually be made out of a liquid instead of a gas, like hydrogen and helium, because of its density? 
And if so, is this mystery goo? Um, hey, what happened to my encounter? Oi. Oi, hey, hey, hey! We were supposed to have an encounter here. Oh, shucks. It, oh, it, we are having an encounter. Well, don't lie to me like that, Kerbal. I mean, we are fairly high up. It was a tenuous encounter at best. Okay, what's the good scanning altitude? 60 and 1,500. Well, that's 1,500. Big Dipper, you see... I can't... I mean, okay, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Definite Dipper. Okay, okay. Yes, explode all that. Okay, that'll do. Let's try it again. There we go. Eighty science added. Only eighty science for a whole orbital survey thing. Where's Tylo? How can we not even see Tylo? Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is done. We could probably move it on to a different moon, but maybe we should just focus on the Muon for now. So what could we plausibly hit, anyway? I mean, we're sort of aimed at Tylo. I guess that's useful. I don't like how it's boosting our orbit, though. I sort of want close into Tylo science, but I also don't want to end up crashing into Jewel immediately after, so we'll have to take this. What counts as fast? Three years to get there? Hmm. Well, I mean, we might have gotten there here fast, it's possible. Depends on things, I guess. I don't know. Why would I've why would I've gotten here fast? I don't know. Okay, keep. We've already transmitted the transmitted portions. We're just gonna have to. Oh, high over lowlands. It said even. Uh, remove data. Re restore before you bump into a thing. Okay. Let's see. Burn at periapsis to bring this puppy down. Can we hit something other than Tylo now? Guess not. But that Paul, Paul has possibilities. Yeah, Mr. Doobie likes the robotics. I have not warmed up to the robotics yet. But that's a, that's a DLC though. Oh wait, what was that? Ah, we got a bop. We were just trying to hit something that we could potentially land on and take off from. We don't have a whole lot of landing and takeoff juice, so... But this is a lot. I don't know if we can land on bop, but at least approaching bop would be good. This might end up like a... Rescue mission too. We might not have enough Delta V to get back home. Oh no. Okay, how much would it take to make orbit? Three hundred. Hmm. Well, we'll get there and see. Jeb and Lola may be stranded. This is why I don't need stock life support right now. Oh, uh, the inclined blue orbit, I think that's a contract. It popped up while we were doing other stuff. I think it's gone now. I think it was a contract, and now it's gone because we don't have- that contract isn't on offer anymore. 
If you mean uh, this other blue orbit here, that's actually... Well, that's us, right? Because the probe is in orbit around Tylo right now. I don't know enough about how RTGs work to really opine... Uh, if they think it's good to use... R I mean, yeah, I I'm in favor of RP RTGs in general. New Horizons has... Uh, I mean, New Horizons says an RTG, but I don't know if it has an Am Americium? I mean, is that how I pronounce it? Ameri how do we pronounce that? Anyway. I mean, the thing about plutonium is you end up with uh, uh, a possible weapon grade situation, right? You you're, uh, you basically got a plant that will produce potentially rep weapons grade things. So that's always been a concern about allowing its use. But uh, maybe Americium does not have that problem? I don't know. And if it's cheaper, it's cheaper, of course. That's an, always a plus. Bear for slow burn. Okay, so it's it's less powerful. A little red pellet thing, but hopefully not a very big red pellet. <laughs> uh. I bet my smoke alarm doesn't even have it because mines are all cheap or something. Good smoke alarms might have it. They do stop working. They beep like all heck when they want to stop working. Hmm. Oh, well, that's even less than 75. Oh, I mean, I guess it depends on how you count that 75%. Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, it's in proportion to its half-life. Right. Exactly. Stays around for longer, so that's the good thing. I mean, unless you gotta send a reactor, you of course need an RTG, because you're not gonna use solar power, power on an interstellar probe. Yeah, it's a weight issue, and I don't know about the cost, but yeah. How, how much more expensive is it than plutonium, then? But, I mean, let's face it. Interstellar mission is gonna cost. I mean, we're, we're not at the stage of interstellar missions done cheap here. Okay, let's... I guess we'll get into orbit. I'm worried about getting back home after this, though. Probably be stranded. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Well, um, we haven't done low over. We're pretty low, is it low? Still high over Bob. 20, sub 25, okay. It's so bumpy though, it makes me nervous. Yep, space near Bob. Keep. Keep. Alright, Lola. Do your thing. Uh, she's gonna have to use the jetpack to get the goo anyway. What, what, what happened to her? What? Uh oh. She went into this thing. That's that's not good. That doesn't have a collider on it? Do that. I I don't know. We've got a lot of tech tree to unlock still. Standard reels time warp? Oh, inside. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The clipping in. Okay, well. So when do we go home from Jewel? Let me look that up. KSB Jewel Phase Angle. Kerbin behind by 48 degrees. Oh, well, let's see. Where is Kerbin? Uh, it's behind by less than 48 degrees. Uh, let me just plot it to see how much it's going to be. 
We should break bop out orbits, I think. We didn't even do Val. We've got a lot more to do around here, which is good. Like I was milking science or anything. We'll probably get quite a lot, but I wasn't milking it. Okay, so out of the jewel system. Let's just try and plot it right now and see what happens. That's 900 to escape. Uh, well, it's doable. We've got full ablator, so coming in fast wouldn't be a huge problem. Well, that's nice. Can we trust this? We're gonna be coming in fast, as usual. Maybe it's okay. This is like leaving right now, which is... I don't mind that. Let's get it over with, you know? Otherwise I'll totally forget that they're here. <laughs> we'll probably have to fine tune it later. Okay. So we're headed out of Bop orbit. We have done some minor Bop signs, but we did not land on any moon of fuel this time around. Oh, a little bit too late. Well, it's all messed up now. <laughs> we'll be dumping the goo containers. That's fine, we collected that signs. How long until they get back? Um, two years and 172 days? We probably should send out our rescue mission to Duna for then. I mean, it's not like the quickest thing ever. Around four? No, I mean, well, they got here, I mean, you can see the timer on them, two years and 189 days, so it seems about the same here as the transfer back, which would make sense. It shouldn't be a different amount of time. Of course, you can make it a different amount of time by get, going past Jules' orbit and coming back around to hit it. All right, these guys are on their way back. 473 meters. I thought it was only supposed to be 200 meters per second or 300 meters per second extra. We got 473 somehow. Post carbon trajectory. <laughs> That's dangerous looking. Okay, but anyway, they're on their way back. We will deal with them when they arrive. <laughs>